living in a cage with invisible walls The wicked sight, geist of life, making grown men crawl On their knees, begging please, save us from the boogeymen Funded by the CIA, funneled through Arabian banks Like a shank to the neck, they hit you from the back No sweat, ho check and watch it shake And take away your freedom, you really don't need them When you're tucked away safe and protected by FEMA Then you must be a dreamer like the great pretender Ask the second amendment why I'll never surrender But I'll never plead a fifth when it comes to September I'ma yell it from the roof and expose the agenda yeah. Time to wake up and open your eyes to the matrix This is going out to the troopers and patriots Living free and dying hard, speaking through battle scars So, let's just go over here and see what the game says in Illuminati, the master conspiracy factions directly controlled by players build their power networks by dominating other groups who are represented by cards. For instance, the UFO conspiracy might take over the CIA and then use the clandestine agency to control the Boy Scouts, the Mafia, and the comic book industry. Each player can win by either building up enough power or by fulfilling the special goal unique to their chosen Illuminati faction. The Discordians, for example, can win by taking over a wide variety of other groups, while the servants of whatever can win by actively destroying them. Illuminati is one of the most enduring games created by Steven Jackson, uh, and it celebrated its 30th anniversary in 2012. Over the years, multiple expansions have updated the secret societies available to players as well as the power groups to control, all with the company's trademark tongue-in-cheek style, and they put it all in your face. And here's a couple of other ones that we're going to check out. Because these are the predictions. The Princess Die, Terrorist Nuke, that's the 9-11 one. Pentagon, Saddam Hussein, Oil Spill, Jogger. Joggers, this is the uh, Boston bombing one. Uncontrolled tidal wave, nuclear accident, martial law, tax reform, and these ones here, they all go in order. So here we are over here on the page. This is reptilianilluminati.wordpress.com. Take a look at some of the cards. Go ahead and pause the screen, check them out if you want. It's a lot of them. A lot of them. Just about everything. Shootings, bombings, everything. We took a look at these. Just that. But we're going to take a look at these one by one here. We're going to go to the tax reform one. And before I get off the top of the page, here's all the other stuff that they talk about. And you should definitely get to know the symbols. There's other pages. So, this is the list. In the camps are on there. False, I mean, false flags, you name it. It's all on here. So, they're all listed alphabetically. Let's just go down to it. Tax reform. In other words, tax increase. No government ever took its hand out of your pocket unless it had a hold of your wallet. The IRS can now tax one plot card from each player at the beginning of its own turn, taking the top card from their decks. Martial law. I think that was pretty self-explanatory. Screen a completely different screen resolution for my computer and TV, so <laughs> I gotta look at my computer. You know, people's names and everything, Margaret Thatcher, Louis Clinton, Bill Clinton, Marshall Law. 
play this card at any time to give plus 10 power or resistance to any government group you control. Fused with an action that must be played when the play, blah, blah, blah. Tells you how to play the card. It's another good one, Media Blitz. So I think, uh, let's check it, let's check out the gun control one. Increase the power of all violent government groups by three. Increase the power of all criminal groups by one. This card replaces any red NWL card in play. <coughs> this all happened in order, folks. Folks, see it all. All happen in order. Except these haven't happened yet. Or have they? Some would think not because gun control, well, you really don't have gun control now. They're trying though, but tidal wave, this could be, this right here could be Japan. But I highly doubt it. I doubt it. I don't know, folks. These have all happened. Joggers, this is the Boston bombing one. Let's take a look at that. It talks about the media coming out. Yeah, I mean, it's crazy. It says a Japan one, there's a Jihad one. No one ever suspects a harmless jogger. This group gives a plus two on any assassination attempt. This group may not be destroyed. Hollow Earth. I mean, he talks about a lot of the uh, the stuff that are conspiracies that people think are conspiracies. Here's a real good one: arms dealers. Tell you what, how's my nice guy? If you buy the missiles, I'll throw in the poison gas for free. <laughs> monster benefit concert play this card any time you get plus 10 power or resistance to any liberal group you control folks folks these these cards are not these are for the Illuminati is what they play with. It's a fucking game to them. This card gives an attack to destroy any male personality. The attack must come from a media group. The attack becomes privileged except for media groups. Any media group can interfere on either side. Slick Lily right next to it. Bill Clinton gives it plus three on any attempt to control any government group that is part of the U.S. He has a plus eight for direct control of any government group. Anytime Clinton's alignments matter, roll a die. It's incredible. Big fuck has the power to distract any media group by showing himself in public. By using his action, Bigfoot can cancel any action taken by any media group.
speaking of media, get plus four to any attempt to control or destroy other media, which they're trying to do now. May aid or oppose any attack made by or against any other media group. That's what they're doing now. Black activists. That's what they're doing now. Gives plus two to any attempt to control any liberal group. Gives plus four to your defense against any attack made or aided by a liberal group. Conspiracy theorists. This powerless and much mocked group is prized by the Illuminati because their wild bravings often contain useful ideas. When you control this group, you may have one extra plot card in your hand at all times. Not that us truthers, I mean, we're not, we're not hiding anything. So, <laughs> I don't know what ideas we could give them other than. Either way, would they fucking look at it? Their ass is fucking grass. Earthquake projector, meaning they can freaking pinpoint earthquakes, just like I've been telling you. Center for Disease Control. Here's one you might want to pay attention to. As this action, the CDC can supply relief to one devastated location each turn. If the CDC makes a direct attack to it to destroy a place. Can use biological warfare and get a plus 15 to its attack. If the attack foils, if it fails, the CDC is automatically destroyed by the owner of the place that it attacked. <laughs> that sounds about right. These are not joking cards. These are actual cards that the fucking scumbag elites play with. I think we should make a little card game of our own. And you know, I didn't I don't think a lot of this came out until I don't even think it was the 9-11 thing. It was fucking Iraq. Because while the soldiers went were in Iraq, they all had those deck of cards with the fucking with the terrorists on them, with all the Iraqis and shit. And then all of a sudden they came out with that Illuminati shit. No, I think it's, and it's all tied together. Cable TV. 500 channels and nothing's on. Add one to this group's regular and global power for each personality in your power structure. Goal. Cast out false prophets. Heretic is someone who shares almost all your beliefs. Kill him. Yeah, the goal cards are totally different. They're... I'm going to go through a lot of those in the next video, though. These are just like the regular cards. California, all your media groups have plus one power. There's people, there's states, there's countries, there's everything. Assassination. This is on instant attack to destroy any personality at any time. It does not require an action. I believe you me. There's going to be assassinations coming in this fucking country soon. Very soon. There's also going to be a lot of false flags. So you better fucking keep a keen eye out. So. You can come back with some more in a little bit. <laughs> it's fucked up as it is. It's interesting shit. And it mean, needs to be known. And we're going to get a little deeper into some of this shit. Um, and some of the predictions. And some of the stuff yet to happen. So, stick around. Till then, God bless and carry on.